League tables, parental pressure, government legislation and building regulations. Schools are under more pressure than ever to produce good results. It is therefore essential for pupils and teachers to work in a comfortable and healthy indoor environment. Good air quality, combined with responsive and accurate temperature control, are key to an effective working environment. At Haydenwick Primary School in Swindon, adding a new extension to the school offered the ideal opportunity to look at how good ventilation and heating can make a real difference in the classroom. This is a three classroom extension to a school. What we've done is it's a standalone system with its own gas-fired conventional uh, condensing boiler situated at the far end. Each classroom has three basic units in it. They're low surface temperature radiators into which are incorporated in each room five oxygen units. These are small fan units that introduce air directly from the outside and preheat it during the winter time and obviously in the summer it will just introduce fresh air. The classrooms were fitted with Yaga's low surface temperature radiators. The radiators weigh only one-tenth as much as a traditional radiator and contain far less water, which means that they carry very little thermal inertia, making them very quick to heat up and cool down, reducing wasteful overheating and making the most of free heat sources such as solar gain or IT equipment. Low mass heating of this type has been proven in testing at the building research establishment to deliver energy savings of around 10% compared with traditional steel panel radiators. The radiators have molded corners, which combined with the low temperature of all surface areas makes them safe for use around children. The light weight of the radiators also makes them quick and easy to fit. Regulations now also require school buildings to regulate carbon dioxide levels. Oxygen is the most essential element for the body to function correctly, and yet its supply is often taken for granted. Spending the whole day in an enclosed, stuffy classroom with poor ventilation has a detrimental effect on a pupil's ability to concentrate, as well as their general health. Ineffective ventilation has been shown to lead to problems such as headaches, lethargy and the spread of germs. Hayden Wick School has therefore turned to Yaga's oxygen system to provide fresh air into the classroom. A sensor in each room measures CO2 levels. When CO2 levels rise, for example, when more people enter a room or when activity increases, the refresh units bring more fresh air into the classroom to increase oxygen levels. At the same time, an exhaust system in the roof removes old stale air to create a perfectly balanced environment. If the air quality decreases, then the children's performance can decrease and that's been proven and seen in hundreds of schools all over the country. Uh, by introducing a positive way, it means that we don't actually have to open windows, which means that you don't actually have to have dust or fumes or additional noise coming through into the classroom. The sensor system means that the fans only operate when there is a need for fresh air. This prevents the system overventilating and wasting money. Because the units are located inside the heat emitters, the system is discreet and safe. Both systems work together to provide not only fresh air, but warm air when needed, which helps keep the room temperature at a comfortable level and reduce heating bills. The whole system is controlled by a computer, which makes it very easy to adjust settings as needed. The system can also be operated remotely through a secure internet connection. This is the central control unit for the oxygen uh, air refreshment system here. You can see on the screen here a graph, which is a typical day, uh, which shows what happens to the CO2 level in the room and how the system responds to that through the day. And you can see that early in the morning when the children come in, the CO2 level, which is the red line, increases quite quickly. As that gets above a certain level, then the oxygen air refresh system responds to that. The pink line is the volume of air that is being taken in to the room and also taken out of the room. The intake units, the, air, the units in the classroom, respond by bringing in fresh air. The extract units are then told to balance um, and they take out exactly the same volume of air. 
and they keep working until the CO2 concentration in the room begins to reduce. The systems also offer considerable energy and cost savings to the school. Low H2O radiators alone will cut energy consumption by around 10%. When used in conjunction with a balanced oxygen air refreshment system, certificated independent testing in Holland has demonstrated that by limiting air changes to the volume of air necessary to maintain air quality, less heating output is required, and this saving rises to around 20% compared to uncontrolled natural ventilation. Energy efficiency is very important and it's a prime consideration when we undertake any design. The reason for that is that schools now receive funding directly for energy. It's not paid through the LEA, so they actually have to pay their own energy charges. The less they spend on energy, then the more they can actually spend on the other facilities and functions that a school have to provide for the children. From a school point of view, the benefits are basically that they're going to end up with a system which is very efficient. They end up with a system that's very safe and they're going to end up with a system that will introduce a quality into the school environment that they won't have in any other part of the school at the moment. For a school environment, it's, the benefits in the long run are healthier, happier, better educated children, but we can't lay claim to all of that. Um, what we can claim is to provide an environment in which they can work at their most, um, at their optimum. And that means by providing an, an environment that gives good air quality all through the day. You, often in a school or even in an office you can have a period after lunch when people are a little bit tired, giving off more CO2 as they do when they've, uh, when they've eaten a meal and it's a bit stuffy and you don't get the best out of people. Using a proper managed ventilation system like oxygen means that you can get the best out of those people all through the day. Now add that to the energy efficiency benefits and pretty soon not only are you providing a better environment but you're saving money. Generally with little children of this age we do find that they come in after lunch and as the afternoon goes on they do tend to get more and more sleepy and their concentration levels drop. Um, especially when we were in the old mobile, you know, the, in the middle of winter when the classroom gets hot and the oxygen levels get low, we used to find them nodding off to sleep during the afternoon. But since we've been in the new build and we've had this new system, we found the children have been more alert and their concentration has been much better. Hayden Wick is a thriving school offering an excellent education to its pupils. Yaga's heating and ventilation systems will now help deliver a powerful yet energy efficient way to create a balanced cycle of fresh air in the classrooms, helping pupils to make the very best out of their time at school.